Hi, my name is Kate Oates, and I want to give you a huge warm welcome to my tailoring class. I decided to offer this as an online course because it's my most popular workshop, and it's also a very enabling workshop for knitters. There's something really wonderful and amazing as a knitter. Once you've learned about the shape of your body and how to take measurements and how and why gauge is critical, and then using that to help you modify and customize your knitting patterns, your sweaters primarily, in order to fit your body better. As a designer, my goal in my knitting patterns is always to provide you with as many options as I can, um, lots of tips and tricks on how to choose your size, um, things like that, that allow you to change the lengths of certain areas. And I like to give you either written instructions for that, or I'll write up a note telling you how to do that. But outside of that, there's so much that you can learn about your body and by taking ownership of your measurements and measuring them properly in order to make more significant customizations to your projects that will help them fit and flatter you so much better. So I love teaching this class. Um, I love seeing the light bulbs go off. The only downside to me teaching this online is that I don't get to see your light bulb go off, but I am just really excited for you to go on this journey with me because I fully believe that this class can absolutely change your knitting life. In this class, we are going to be going through a whole slew of not only worksheets that are going to help you in your journey as far as the customization goes, but I'm also going to give you a lot of background information that's super important anytime you're knitting a pattern, whether you're going to customize it or not. You've received several PDFs as part of your course package. One of them is for the course handbook, which looks like this if it's printed out. And it's got a lot of pages in it. It's got a ton of notes in it. I created this workbook to go along with the class so that you don't have to worry about taking notes while I'm talking, writing everything down, or rewatching the class a thousand times. Most of what I say is going to be in your workbook. You also receive the PDF for my Perfect Tea Handbook pattern. I designed the Perfect Tea with this class in mind. I wanted to have a classic tailored sweater that I could use as a great example for a sweater that you could customize. And so we'll be using that pattern and that sweater when we do get through the worksheets to all be able to work from the same numbers the first time we go through any of the math. That way you have a full understanding of how all of the worksheets work before you input your own numbers. You have also received an answer key workbook, which will show you all of the answers to the math that we go through in the second half of this course. That way you don't necessarily have to rewatch the video in order to get your mind back on track on how some of those worksheets work. You have everything you need in PDF form, but if you do prefer paper materials, I have a course materials bundle available for purchase. If you do choose to order the course materials bundle, you'll receive your printed handbook like this, bound and whatnot, and you'll also receive the printed copy of the Perfect Tea Handbook. You will also receive two of the worksheets that are within the handbook as blank pages. And the reason that I went ahead and included that for you is because when I teach this class in person, I like to suggest that students use the blank copies when they're making their first set of notes. That way they always have a true blank copy that they can photo and use over and over again anytime you wanna customize a sweater project. So of course you can always from your PDFs, reprint any pages that you need so you really have access to those blank worksheets no matter how you do it. If you flip to page two of your handbook, which looks like this, you will see a course outline. And I will be going through, of course, every topic in the course outline. 
in that order. So this way you have a little preview of what's to come. And if there's something specifically that you're interested in, then you are more than welcome to jump ahead to that section and get going. Or let's say you feel really comfortable with gauge and swatching and you wanna skip over that part of the workshop, you are also more than welcome to do that. So I provide this course outline for you just so that you know what's coming and you can really tune in to the parts that are most important to you. So in this class, we'll be covering gauge, swatching, and blocking, very essential pieces of knitting. You will also learn how to swatch in the round if this isn't already a tool that's in your toolbox. Swatching in the round is essential when you're working a sweater in the round to make your swatch more representative. And we'll talk more about that right at the beginning of the class when we get into gauge and swatching. Construction styles of sweaters, construction styles that you see most often. Finishing tips, because no matter how well you've knit your sweater, if your finishing isn't so great, a lot of times that can make or break your sweater. So I also include some finishing tips in this course. Then we're going to actually take our body measurements and I will demonstrate each one of the measurements that are listed in your workbook for you. Um, I do also have a blog post on this topic. So if you need a quick refresher on how to take a particular measurement, you don't have to come back to that particular section of this course. You might find it easier to go into the blog post simply because it has each section listed separately. So you could jump directly to the measurement that you're needing to take that day. We will also talk in great detail about ease, which is one of the things that I find to be most confusing for knitters. What is ease? How do you incorporate ease into a pattern? Is there a difference between ease in your chest and in your arms? Those kind of things. So we're gonna really take a deep dive into ease. And we also have our first worksheet in the ease section. It's a really basic worksheet. But what it will do is actually provide you with a set of measurements that will tell you what size you would look for in a pattern at different levels of ease. So if that doesn't make sense quite yet, don't worry about it because we will talk about ease in great detail. The next thing we're gonna do is talk about how to choose your size and we'll use the Perfect Tee as an example of that. So that's why the Perfect Tee Handbook is part of this class because we're, gonna we're going to use that pattern in order to choose a size. I'll ask you to choose a size in that pattern and use that as the size that you use to practice our customizations on. We'll talk in more detail about that when we get to that section. So part one of the workshop is going to be a lot of me talking fully admitted. I'm going to tell you a lot of tips and tricks and going to really go through a lot of this material in great detail. In part two of the course, that's when we really get to dive in and learn how to put those customizations and modifications into practice. We'll start off with some real easy baby worksheets that just get you kind of used to how the worksheets are set up. And then we will get into our row and stitch gauge worksheets. These two worksheets work together and can be used to modify pretty much any section of a sweater. So if you wanted to adjust shaping over a certain length, you would use the row gauge worksheet. If you wanted to adjust the number of stitches or the circumference or width, you would use the stitch gauge worksheet. So we are gonna be using them for sleeve shaping on our row gauge worksheet and for waist shaping on our stitch gauge worksheet. So those are the two examples that I've chosen, but as I said, you can absolutely use these worksheets for other areas of the garment as well. Not only is there this waist shaping worksheet, but your workbook also includes instructions on how to insert that waist shaping into the pattern of your choice. Whether it's top down or bottom up, you've got written instructions provided within this workbook. I find that adding waist shaping to a sweater, if it's done correctly and in the right place, which we'll talk about when we take your measurements, it is one of the most flattering things that you can do, especially if you have a nice tailored fitting sweater. 
The final section of your workbook includes two more little worksheets. And one of them is for adding shoulder shaping to a pattern. This can be useful if you have anything going on at the base of your neck on the back side and you need a little bit of extra room there. Or it can be used for a pattern that, let's say it's a lovely pattern, but the neckline shaping doesn't provide for a lower neckline in the front versus the back. You can use this worksheet to create your own extra neck depth in the front by working some short rows and adding them into the pattern. And then our final worksheet is going to be about adding a high-low hem, and that is also based on short rows. So we have lots to get through, so let's get to it.